Well, the rain stopped. Here I am back at the hall. Um, just doing this field in front of the the oh, it's the hall. It's the tower, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, just having a check. There's the break in the rain, which washed uh, Lee and Scott out yesterday. But there's a break here, so I'm getting it in. Uh, just found a coin straight away. It looks to be one of these roughly 1750s, 1770s, something like that. So I'll carry on because rain clouds are coming in. Oh, there's another coin. It's well rotted. Don't know what it is. Oh, there's another coin. It's well rotted. Don't know what it is. A button. I don't want to talk too soon. There's no, uh, no junk over here. Big rocks in this paddock, look, with holes drilled in them. Hmm. Interest that never been ploughed this land. <laughs> oh, I've walked right through one, two, three, four fields here, looking for a hot spot or a, a decent signal, and finally I got one. <laughs> George Third. Right, but I figured this would be in this particular spot. <laughs> Oh, clog clip. <laughs> oh, stigmas very few and far between, but I'm having fun. I'm getting stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, large ten pence. The non spendable kind. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II. Oh. oh, look, it did rain and then it's fed up, so I might get another half hour in here. Right, I'll have to call it a day now. <laughs> Blue and cold at one time, a little bit of snow, but uh, now it's dried and we've got quite a nice sunset look. Silhouetting against the sky. <laughs> and the tower. No leaves on the trees yet, so it still looks a bit sparse. But uh, I'll tell you one thing for certain, there ain't no horse field where I've been. <laughs> so if I don't find anything on the way back to the car, I'll see you at the roundup. Now let's, let's see if I can get a, a little bit better sun, sunset for you there. Oh, even the sunset's a bit dirty, look. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the roundup. <laughs> God, it was raining this morning and this afternoon, and then it fared up for an hour, so I thought I'll get out there and just check those fields along the alleged Roman road. <laughs> Surprising how you can zoom through them and give yourself an idea in an hour. But let's see what I did get. Uh, bits of copper pipe. Thin bits actually, way for thin some of them. That one I'm sure is a spout of a kettle. Bit of watch mechanism there. Uh, that's a grill, I thought it was a harmonica, but nah, it's a grill. Bit of brass there, mm, don't know what. Big chunk of folded lead, look. Um, doesn't want to unfold, so we'll leave it alone. <laughs> Tell you one thing, <laughs> definitely no sign of anything Roman up there, and I had no indication of a horse field either. I had indications of barren fields. What I did, what did I get? Yeah, funny little bit of bronze there. A Ford badge. Oh, really gone, really grottified. That's an old Ford badge. Uh, button. Um, nothing on it. Clog clip. I'm sure there was a design on there, but when I cleaned it up, it vanished. <laughs> uh, I think that's a little bell on there. I'm not so sure, though. And I'm sure I saw the word trade, as though it was trademark. But it's gone. The minute I cleaned it, it, it vanished. Right. Oh, look. Half a musket ball. <laughs> Go 
Yeah, I knew they were tight up there, but my goodness. Um, uh, is that something on it? Let's have a look, see. No, just illusion. Just an illusion, eh? Whoops. <laughs> Oh, I love these things, you know, I, I can find all sorts of things in lead. Look at that face looking back at you right in the middle. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear, but no, I think it's an illusion. Uh, but what, if anybody disagrees, jump in by all means. We've got a 10p, we're on to coins already, <laughs> what I did get. A 10p and it is... 1969 out of circulation now so worthless it's not even worth anything for scrap a bronze penny 1920 not bad nick actually quite nice green and then we get on to what i call georgian these are the copper coins i think this is 1806 it could be a 1799 so if anyone knows different, the date is down there. I just can't read it. And turn him over and there's your uh, Britannia. I walked three, four fields on straight onto this and that was the only thing I got. And I walked all the way back and got nothing either. Those fields are barren. I was told that the local um, bigwig he kept horses in the field and nothing else. So there might have been 50 horses and two people in the entire field system. Nobody lived there. This one, mm, I don't know. It's one of these, could be George 1, 2, 3. Um, if you say about 1750 on that, it can't be far out. This... If it's been niggled away, look, it's the same size as that other one was, but my goodness, has it been got at? Tried to polish it up, but there's nothing in there, it's just, just copper, look. So, what did that tell me? There ain't no Roman and there ain't no horse fields, <laughs> but I had a good time. <laughs> you got to get out, haven't you? So I've got one, two, three, four, five coins. That's that's a lot in some people's book. And the clog clip. And a button and half a musket ball. What more do you want? <laughs> right, till I see you next time and hopefully I can find somewhere better to detect on. Um, so, good luck. Happy hunting. Bye.